What's up everybody? I'm Andrew Steele. And I'm Big Tony. Today is our second full day here at Elkhorn Ridge RV Resort in Spearfish, South Dakota. We've got a bunch of stuff we've got to get done today. We thought we would take you guys along for the ride, kind of show you what a day in the life of hanging out with Big Tony and Andrew Steele looks like. So I'm going to grab the list, tell you the things that we're going to accomplish today. Most important things that's helped me stay successful is making lists daily with daily goals. Got to write it down, make sure we cross it out as it goes. There's something about writing down a goal and crossing it out and handling it. So these are the goals for today. It is June 11th, 2019. It's 9.30 a.m. I already knocked out the, the first thing on the list today. I met with the general manager of the RV resort. We give them a piece of everything that we do here. So wanted to make sure we're all on the same page and make sure we're good with them. That's uh, checked off the list. Uh, we got to clean the RV. Big Tony, you feel like detailing the RV today, bro? Honestly, I do. It's a nice overcast day, so he wants to detail it. I honestly, I just want to sit around and chill out. But hey, if Big Tony wants to work, we'll get to work. So we're going to detail the RV exterior. I also need to go to the South Dakota Department of Revenue and get my business license. Before we can start running a business here, we make sure that we dot our I's and cross our T's. So I gotta go see my buddies at the South Dakota Department of Revenue, get that business license set up. We also need to get propane for the RV. Last night it was pretty cold, or actually the last couple nights it's gotten a little cold in here. And being in Arizona, I didn't even think to fill my propane tank. It ran out on my last trip and we've got no propane so we got no heat. We went to Walmart and they don't even have any space heaters right now because it's, uh, it's summertime. So there's no space heater so we need to get propane for the RV and then we need to get a storage unit for our DI bottles. A big part of this whole business is having DI water filtration. I made a couple YouTube videos about why it's important to wash your RV with deionized water. I definitely recommend checking those out. So we're going to go to the storage unit, drop off these DI bottles. We need to... Play basketball is on the list with Big Tony. That's <laughs> We got the basketball yesterday. So you guys are going to see us play, and I'm thinking maybe a one-on-one -on -one game would be really cool. Uh, what do you guys think the the odds should be? Like, Big Tony should definitely get an advantage because he towers over me. I'm 6'2". I'm actually pretty athletic, but um, I'm not looking forward to playing Big Tony one-on-one. -on -one. But, hey, we're going to do it, and we'll do it on camera for you guys just to show you guys. Drop a comment below, what do you think the final score of the game of 21, first to 21, without going over 21, we play tips as well. If you get tipped, you go back down to zero. If you're over 11, you go about back down to 11. How bad do you guys think Big Tony is going to beat Andrew in a game of basketball? Drop a comment below, what do you think the final score of a game of 21 is going to be? <laughs> So that's just what we got going on today. We really appreciate you guys watching, all of the great comments, a ton of really cool people out there. Tony, you got anything to uh, anything to uh, reply to the commenters or anything? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about that 21 game going to be Andy in. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we're heading into Spearfish and I've got the same dry cleaners that I've used there several years. Gonna drop off all my clothes for wash and fold. I highly recommend it if you're staying in Spearfish. So I just talked to the general manager at the RV resort. It's a new manager this year. So you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes different general managers can be on a power trip and stuff like that. But this general manager was really cool. Young guy, probably around my age, super chill, uh, really easy to work with. And we're really excited to be working at Elkhorn Ridge again this summer. And we're going to share our profits with them. That's something that we've been doing for the last nine summers and we are happy to do it because it's one of the top RV resorts in the country and we are really thankful for the opportunity to work at Elkhorn Ridge 
thank you to the new general manager, Tyler. So I just called to get a storage unit here in South Dakota and it's actually a real estate company. Uh, it's really cool how South Dakota is. It's definitely not as developed and not as, you know, the technology is not there um, like, you know, Phoenix and some of the bigger metropolitan areas. So for me to get a storage unit here, we're driving to a real estate office. We're gonna fill out some paperwork at the real estate office, and then we'll have a storage unit, which is actually really close to the RV resort. This is the best money I have ever spent. We are at Spearfish Laundry and Dry Cleaning. This is actually where I met one of my best friends uh, back in 2013. I met a gentleman, I watched a coach for him. Uh, him and his wife were really nice folks. I chatted it up with them a little bit at Elkhorn Ridge when we watched their coach. And then we both pulled up next to each other at Spearfish Dry Cleaning. And that's actually now one of my best friends. Um, I have a whole story about his coach, uh, Numar, that burned. And I'm gonna make a video about that. It's a 2014 Numar Mountaineer. The lawsuit uh, is titled Castagna versus Newmar. There's a five-year lawsuit that's been going on about that coach, and I'm gonna make a video talking all about that, but a random little fact, I met one of my best friends, uh, Dan and Ruth, at Spearfish Dry Cleaning there in Spearfish, South Dakota. So I was just telling Big Tony, it's definitely worth the money to drop off your laundry at Spearfish Dry Cleaning or any wash and fold dry cleaning. Um, it's really not that expensive. They wash your underwear, your socks, everything. And uh, we can focus our time on washing coaches and making YouTube videos and having a good time. And that was super easy. I'll be back in a few days with clean laundry. And uh, I think Big Tony will be dropping off his laundry about that time as well. What do you think, bro? Oh yeah. <laughs> This real estate office in downtown uh, Spearfish, South Dakota. I just signed all the paperwork and we got a storage unit. That's where we're gonna store all these big heavy DI bottles. That's the gold. It's gonna be a secret location. Uh, nobody's gonna know where those DI bottles are. That's the, uh, the main thing we need to keep the wheels turning. Spearfish is a cute little town. A lot of cool little uh, buildings and restaurants here. So yeah, so we're really excited. We got a, uh, a phone call from someone and I think we're gonna get some work from this YouTube channel. So that's kind of the goal of this whole YouTube channel is if we let people know what's going on and um, what we do, they'll get to know us a little bit better and be excited about coming to get their coach detailed by some of the best detailers out there. So we're uh, really excited to meet these folks that are coming in to have their coach detailed. I don't get into politics really too much. I don't like politics that much. I like to just focus my energy on positive things. But I have to say, I've heard some of my friends that I've grown up with hate on Walmart and they have this whole uh, mentality that just because Sam Walton did very good and Sam Walton uh, prospered, that somehow other people are not prospering because Walmart is really prospering. And they have all these, you know, oh, the CEO of Walmart makes this or that, but hey, whatever. I just have to say thank you to Walmart because there are so many times that I come to Walmart. This is our third trip to Walmart in the last 24 hours and we got to get little stuff that keeps us in business. Right now I'm just getting a padlock for my storage unit for my DI bottles and that was something that I made the mistake. I didn't plan ahead, but fortunately because of Walmart, we're able to keep the wheels turning. So to all the Walmart haters that talk like Walmart is keeping their boot on other people's neck because they're prospering, I don't like that mentality. I appreciate Walmart. I appreciate all the groundwork that Sam Walton laid so that we have an awesome store that we can go get great supplies for a reasonable price. You can't beat that. Now we're gonna unload the van. We brought up a whole bunch of extra DI bottles. Let's see what it looks like in there. We got so much stuff in here. Woo! Gotta get all these extra towels, DI bottles. Get all this stuff unloaded so we can go to work.
got the storage unit, we got the DI bottles unloaded. Now I've got to call the South Dakota Department of Revenue, make sure I'm licensed with them so that we can start working. We are cruising through the list today. It's about 1220 right now. I just called the South Dakota Department of Revenue and I have a relationship with one of the agents there, so I'm waiting on a call back from them. I scheduled to top off the propane in the coach. I've got to do it at the maintenance uh, building here at the RV resort. Um, so I've got to put all the slide outs in and the jacks down. So I'm moving sites on Friday. So we're going to top off propane on Friday. We got the storage unit, got all the DI bottles dropped off. We're pretty much running through the list right now. I just love the power of productivity when you have a list and you just want to get stuff done. It feels like it should be five o'clock and it's only 1220 and we've accomplished a lot today. So we've got a gentleman that asked for a quote on a coach and stacker. We've got another gentleman that's going to come for a wash and a wax tomorrow morning. My coach needs to get cleaned, but honestly, I'm pretty exhausted from all of this traveling and all this productivity. And I know Big Tony wants to work and make some money, but what do you think, bro? Should we, you, you want to wash and wax this coach by yourself right now? Or do you want to go play basketball? What do you feel like doing, bro? Uh, <laughs> Putting you on the spot. I guess basketball sounds nice. <laughs> hey, you know, my coach, the shoemaker's kids go shoeless is an old saying, and my coach is covered in bugs and it's filthy, but... Sometimes we just got to chill out. We've been working really hard to film all these videos and it takes a lot of work and uh, I think it's time for a basketball game. So I'm going to end the vlog today. They edit this up real quick. This is just a morning. This is just a half a day. So if you guys want to keep watching this content, keep dropping a like and we'll keep sharing the daily activities with you guys. And I'm thinking we're going to have to go play a little one-on-one -on -one in basketball. Drop a comment below with what you think the score is going to be and um i'm trying to think of something man i want to i want to interact with more of you guys but uh, i was trying to do a contest or something but the problem with contests is is the liability so as i learn more I, i've watched a lot of stuff like all these lawyers post these youtube videos on liability and stuff and i gotta really watch liability and that's why we aren't doing a giveaway but here, here's the 24 hour giveaway. It's, so here's the problem is I can say something and then we can get like a million views or something and there will be no physically way to give to keep up with like a t-shirt giveaway. I can say, hey, I'm going to give away a t-shirt and then like a million people might comment. The, you know, it just can get so, so tricky. So um, I'm going to try to figure out how to do a giveaway with you guys. That stuff's going to come soon. If you guys want to do some giveaways, if that's something you care about, drop a comment below.